You never really know until that ball moves and you're the quarterback going, oh, okay. Woodhead picks up five yards on that swing pass. Clemens getting battered. Brian Schofield with a big hit. Adams. The fake tumbler in trouble, and he's set. Brought down by O'Brien Schofield. O'Brien Schofield, what a story he is. He played for Seattle last season. In the offseason, he signed a free agent contract with the Giants, but failed their physical. Now he's back with Seattle. Yeah, it, it really is amazing, and Pete Carroll loves him, but it's really the, the two count. It's, it's the tight end mulligan. He's got to hold it for two counts. It's going to be a bootleg naked pretty much out of shotgun. The Mulligan's got to hold that. And he's hit again. O'Brien Schofield, the first man there. That is all the way back to the 35-yard line, a loss of 11. Well, this is tough. The pressure actually gets picked up pretty good here. Again, you see Michael Vick move the pocket, but he holds, he holds, he holds. He has no place to go. Eventually, this pressure is going to catch up with you. Once again, Michael Vick on the ground. Five have been won in overtime by the Cardinals. First and ten. Fitzpatrick sacked. O'Brien Schofield. It was a four-man rush. Nothing exotic about it. Schofield gets underneath Pierce, the right tackle, and throws him past Fitzpatrick and gets underneath right, right in the grill of Fitzpatrick. Takes his helmet off, no less. Even has the lead as two defensive scores in this game. Spread him out. minutes. Third and nine. McGee's going to get sacked. Hagan's got the initial pressure. And then O'Brien Schofield finished it up. Fifth sack tonight by the Cardinals. Nicely done by O'Brien Schofield. Good job inside by Darnell Dockett as well. But here comes Schofield. Off the edge. Hagan's forces him wide. And then Schofield finishes it up. And that would be the time when a more experienced quarterback in all likelihood would climb the pocket a little bit, let the ends run around out. Book on second short is a whole lot better than it was on second long. Two tight ends to the right side for the Ravens. Off the play fake, Blanco in trouble. Darnell. The ball pops loose and is recovered by the Cardinals. Looked like O'Brien Schofield got in for the sack. Great job. On the backside, Joe Flacco trying to secure the ball. Gets his hand underneath it at the last second. And now he's scrambling. He's in the grass. It's like, how can I get to the ball? Illegal Somebody formation. jump on that. Offense. Number 78 was not on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined. First and 10, Arizona. First and goal for Arizona at the two-yard line. 
Fumble recovery by the Cardinals. Stunning turn of events, obviously. The Arizona Cardinals struggling a little on offense. The defense playing well. They were all over that run from the word go. They doing their best to get the football back to their offense. They're giving themselves a chance to win. Second and 11. Inside of eight minutes left to play. Wallace. Under pressure, and down he goes. O'Brien Schofield. Now with three and a half sacks, and that was a big one. In his second year out of Wisconsin, he has brought added speed to the Arizona linebacking core. Around the outside, he goes up and around Eddie Williams, and then just comes back. Eddie Williams, the fullback, just activated today off the practice squad. His first game, first action of the season. Allows the sack. Owens, Williams up with Owen Marisic out. So third and 15 for Cleveland. Wallace again under pressure. And down he goes. And out goes the football. But they're going to say he was down at the four. And again, it's Schofield wrecking havoc. And this is what the Arizona defense has done in the last month and a half. They have just started to turn up the heat. And to their credit, they do it at critical times in the game. You see the pressure come through. And once again, Schofield just gets in. And it looked for a minute like Wallace was going to get hurt there with his leg bent awkwardly. But he gets up and walks off. Darnell Dockett was back there as well. So... 